Hello everyone and welcome back to Cobain History. Today we are going to have a look at how plants, fungi and animals evolved, so the evolutionary relationship between them, as well as some other organisms that don't fall in any of these three kingdoms. We pick up where we left off in last episode, where we saw the evolution of eukaryotes, as well as the introduction of mitochondria into their cells. Soon after that, a split happened. One lineage that included ancestors of animals and fungi developed triple gene fusion which allowed for the production of unique molecules. The other lineage, including the ancestors of plants, would retain the double gene fusion. And we will take a look at this lineage first. Excavata split from the main lineage first. Most notably these include Acrasidae slime molds, which is still single-celled life but can form colonies which resemble multicellular life. The Diaphoretics is a group that includes almost all species engaging in photosynthesis, except for the Euglenozoa, which is part of Excavata, as well as the Cyanobacteria of which we talked in last episode. Here, as a little bonus, we will take a look at this video I found of a Euclina, which is part of Euclinozoa, together with some other protists. This gives us a good view of the environment these organisms live in. What's happening in this specific video is that the other protists discovered the Euclina and they prey on it. It appears that when the first protists discover the Euglena, it uh, releases some kind of chemical that alerts all the other ones nearby and then they gang up on it. It is thought that around the time that Excavata split from the diaphoretics, cyanobacteria were absorbed like mitochondria had been earlier. The cyanobacteria may have evolved or differentiated into the specialized organelles that we see in plant cells today, such as chloroplasts. The group SAR or Harsora is a supergroup that contains several smaller groups, one of which being heterocons. This group contains mostly algae, ranging from the giant multicellular kelp to the unicellular diatoms. Archaeplastida is a group that is also known as the Plantae Kingdom, and it includes everything that we know as plants. But a more in-depth look in this branch is for another video. Now we go back a few steps to the other lineage of eukaryotes, and we can further divide this in Amoebozoa and Opistoconta. Amoebozoa is a major group that consists mostly of unicellular organisms. Most people are familiar with amoeba. This is the species where the whole group is named after and is often studied in biology classrooms. Another interesting species has the dramatic name Chaos. This is the largest organism of this group and can reach lengths of 5 mm although they are on average 1 to 3 millimeters. Still, this is gigantic for a unicellular organism. They feed on bacteria, algae and other protists, and they can even feast on small multicellular invertebrates. The multicellular species in the group of Amoebozoa include several different species of slime molds. And now we have reached our final branch of this episode. Opistocons are heterotorphs, which means they can't produce their own food. So to move, most had evolved flangella to propel themselves. Flangella aren't exclusive to this group. There are a lot of other organisms that have flangella too. Others might have even had more than one. We can still see evidence of this in the male reproductive cells of animals and in the spores of the chytrid fungi, but other fungi species seem to have lost these flangella over time. Another characteristic is that they can synthesize chitin. In animals this can be seen in the species that produce exoskeletons, and in fungi chitin is used in the production of cell walls together with glucans. Cell walls are also present in plants, but in land plants they consist of different materials such as cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin. 
and the cell walls in algae, bacteria and archaea are all made of a variety of different molecules. Almost all animals lack cell walls as it restricts movement. So thanks everyone for watching, you can share your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to see more videos in the future you can subscribe to my channel.